Turning our attention now to Salem, where the GOP walkout in the Senate hit day number 13 and another six senators collected that 10th unexcused absence. That list includes a total now of 10 senators, nine Republicans and one independent, including the minority leader in the Senate. That's Tim Canope. They are all ineligible for reelection following their current term, thanks to Measure 113, which Republicans have said they will challenge in court. There are few, if any, signs that the walkout is going to end anytime soon. Democratic Senate President Rob Wagner says negotiations between the two sides mostly been unproductive. He said neither side is willing to budge. Dems want their abortion and gun bills rammed on through. The GOP wants those set aside before they return. Wagner says Democrats are not going to drop or change bills just because Republicans don't like them and don't support them. He argues that voters elected Democratic majority to see policies like these passed. A lot of you have asked what Governor Kotek is doing or has done to try and bring the two sides together. So far, she's largely stayed out of it. She told reporters yesterday that she's doing a lot of listening and telling lawmakers there's an expectation to get back to work. She's also said that she would consider calling a special session if lawmakers cannot pass a budget by the end of the current session, which is June 25th. But what about the extraordinary option that she does have to send Oregon State Police to round up truant Republicans and force them back into the Senate chamber? She had ruled that out earlier, but in comments to the media yesterday, she threatened to change her mind. Right now, I'm sticking to what I said earlier. State police are very busy. By the way, I'm excited and pleased with the work they've been doing in um, stopping um, fentanyl on I-5 and working with the Portland police on issues like street racing. They have work to do. I haven't changed my mind on that at this point. I'm not saying I wouldn't, but right now, I, I worry. I'm treating people with respect. Get back to work. I don't need to chase you down. Get back to work. Quote, I'm not saying I wouldn't. That's what we call a double negative, which actually becomes a positive. So it means, yeah, I sure could. So there's that. By the way, Senate President Rob Wagner basically said the same thing today. He reminded reporters that he said on the first day of the walkout that he would not ask state police to bring members back. Then he added, is that something we could do? It's still a potential, but I'm not saying that we're ready to go there. By the way, the power to force legislators back is part of the state constitution. It's in Article 4, Section 12. It reads, two-thirds of each house shall con constitute a quorum to do business, but a smaller number may meet adjourned from day to day and compel the attendance of absent members. The key word there, of course, compel. What that means is the Senate President Wagner could compel the attendance of the Republicans by asking the governor to use the state police to round them up, since Wagner has no authority over the state police. Hopefully, it does not come to that, but it is possible. And in my opinion, the fact that the governor and the Senate President would not rule it out when asked about it, well, that makes it likely in my mind, very likely, that the state police will be used to find these Republicans and drag them into the Senate chamber. But again, it's just my opinion. I might be wrong. I hope I am. I, hopefully it won't be needed. We'll see. You don't have to agree, by the way, with my opinion. I'm just throwing it out there to get you thinking. In the meantime, we want to hear from you. What do you think of this walkout tactic? We're especially interested in hearing from those of you who live in the districts where the senators are on the list of the 10 unexcused absences. Tell us where you are and tell us what you think about this. Are they doing the right thing or do you think they need to get back to the chamber to continue to work? What do you think? Send us an email, will you? The address is the story at KGW.com, or you can call and leave a voicemail. The number is 503-226-5090.